how's it going? Ariax is here and today I'm speaking about my first impressions using the new gaming streaming website, YouTube Gaming. It was only yesterday for me that a few friends brought it up, so we decided to go on a little exploration to see what the whole new scene was about. Being a solid Twitch user for two years ongoing, Twitch has become my absolute home base where I check in daily where my peeps at and I watch an average of 8 to 10 hours per day I would say. And being like every other Twitch user, we are well aware of Twitch's strengths, such as its amazing community, as well as its weaknesses and its loopholes and its bugs, which we've learned to deal with. So in saying that, since YouTube gaming is still so young, it's only fair to give it some room, time and leeway for it to find its footing and to spread its wings. With that being said, these are my main observations of the goodies and the loopholes of YouTube gaming within my first hour of using the website. All of my findings in this video, be them good, bad, or ugly, are all meant to drive improvement of the service. Because I'm the type of person where if I find something of potential and substance, I will find loopholes to f fill because that's what drives it to become a better service. Keep in mind that I have not read any articles or watched any review videos to be influenced by any opinion. So these are completely from my own experiences and this is what I felt when I first used it. So here we are on YouTube Gaming's front page. First of all, I'd like to say that I think they've utilized the front page a lot more effectively than Twitch TV's front page because Twitch TV's front page just kind of feels like a front door that you go through and then you'll never come back to this page ever again. No one has any use for this page once you're in Twitch. It kind of feels like 4chan where when you're a newbie, you kind of come to this page and you see what area you want to go into. You click in and you'll probably never come back here again. You're always going to operate within Twitch, within your following and so on. The second thing that I think is good about YouTube gaming is that they have a very good player. The player is really smooth and it's literally, it's doing its job perfect. There's nothing wrong with it that I can say right now. The third good thing about YouTube gaming is that the chat is extremely responsive and instant. Look at this. There's almost no lag at all between any messages compared to Twitch, where if you type something too fast, you have to kind of wait for a good one or two seconds, and they will usually tell you your message was not delivered, please try again. And it's something we've gotten used to, but it is a little frustrating. So this is definitely something refreshing. But the problem I have found with the chat in YouTube gaming is that I was in a smaller stream where there were literally there was literally only me and another person in the chat. It was a very small stream. So the conversation was only between me and this one person. And that would mean that I would have to type probably a good maybe 10 lines within one minute because there's no one else typing. And when I sent about seven messages, YouTube Gaming timed me out for 30 seconds to wait until I could send the next seven messages or so. And that was extremely frustrating because Twitch doesn't limit you to how many messages you can send per minute. And I feel that chat is the breathing life of a stream. I don't think there should be a cap on how many messages you can send every minute. Maybe they should limit it so that you can't spam five in, like, you can't spam like a ridiculous amount that wouldn't, that would be like, you would know it's spam if it was like five in 10 seconds, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, within 10 seconds. I don't think, yeah. The fourth good thing that I found on YouTube gaming is that I do appreciate how it has a big chunky search bar right in the middle of the main page. It allows you to search for channels, games, videos and everything. However, the problem I have found is that when I want to search for a streamer, being a stream viewer who's coming onto YouTube gaming for streams, I'm bombarded with YouTube video results. And to be honest, if YouTube gaming are hoping to convert Twitch users, which are complete stream viewers into YouTube gaming stream viewers, mixing content with YouTube videos is just for me, who goes to YouTube for videos and Twitch for streams, this is just excessive clutter that I don't want to see. As a, as a former Twitch user, I want to see stream viewer, uh, stream, 
streamers results, you know, like Mark, I have to type Markiplier stream because all of that was YouTube videos. And still, these are all just his videos. So it kind of just feels like I'm on YouTube again. I mean, maybe there isn't a designated offline screen like on Twitch, where if someone is offline, you'll see their page. And the thing is, that's nice, though, is that you can sit in someone's channel and you can even see the viewer list. And this kind of feels like you can kind of recognize if you know anyone hanging around. So Twitch kind of still makes a strong sort of interconnected community feel. And even when you're in one stream, you can still have the following on the side and hop easily to a neighboring streamer. And you can do like raids or, you know, you can say hi and everything. And there's more sharing going on. Whereas on YouTube gaming, when you're in a stream, like right here, there is no sidebar at all to kind of like navigate to someone else's stream and have two going on. Someone actually told me that they feel YouTube gaming isn't really fostering a, much of a community compared to Twitch. It just feels like there's a there is a stream and a chat. And yes, they simplified it, but it doesn't always mean that cutting out elements that they thought was clutter in Twitch means it's better and more innovative. In a way, those kind of things were the strings that sort of tied the community together in Twitch. You know, having following, having even like host buttons and viewer lists there are functions for these things so i feel cutting a lot of these things out doesn't necessarily make it better it kind of makes every stream feel separated from one another because to get to another you have to go back to the main screen and that's only the only way you can get to your follower list so it kind of makes you break away from every stream to get to another one whereas twitch makes it easy to just have multiple at once and host <laughs> with this all being said though we also have to be fair and see the opposite side of the coin maybe we are facing all these inconveniences purely because we are twitch users trying to use a new website in the same old twitch interface way where we're expecting the same buttons and so on and maybe maybe gaming youtube is trying to introduce a different kind of combined gaming hub experiences where you get videos and all content live and recorded in one place. So I can appreciate YouTube Gaming's effort to try and make a collective hub, but I'm gonna be honest, as both a Twitch and YouTube user, when I wanna look for YouTube videos, I'm gonna go on www.youtube.com. And when I wanna look for Twitch streams, I'm gonna go on twitch.tv because they're, they serve different purposes. And I think the reason why Twitch reigns as the leading streaming website today is because it took one purpose and it did it right and it focused on it. I see how YouTube gaming is trying to serve two very distinct different purposes in one place, but they need to realize that yes, it's they're both videos and streams are both gaming content, but they're two different things. Trying to serve two different purposes together will most likely end up having one overlapping the other one more such as right now how the videos are kind of still overtaking the results of the streaming the fifth thing that i find pretty interesting about youtube gaming is that its emotes have an interface that is pretty damn good it's really responsive and it's somewhat like facebook stickers but the problem i find is that a lot of these stickers and emotes are so redundant and useless who wants weird things like this why would anyone use this stuff i feel like there need to be better emotes that's why i would say because a lot of these are just unnecessary and there's nothing really fun besides some of the faces and maybe some hearts they need some better emotes and what is with stealing kappa dude what is with stealing Kappa? I know Hitbox stole Kappa as well with hit with um the sushi thing. They got like a little sushi in replacement to the gray face. But most of all, why would you make it a generic ass yellow face of all the things you could make a Kappa? Why, man? Please. But yes. Anyways, this has been my review of YouTube gaming, <laughs> and I'm not putting it down too much at least. The thing about me is that when I see something of high potential, I will usually 
be able to scout out the loopholes in order to make it better because I really see that it could go places it's just that they have certain little things that they need to improve on and yeah because otherwise it's a it's pretty good like it's 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 really got potential I do like it um and if people are continuing to stay on it I will maybe try and stream on it because you know gotta give everything a chance so with that all being said, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching my video today. I really appreciate it. And if you guys find that you agree or disagree on things, or if you have things you want to add, please do in the discussion down below in the comments, because I'm totally open to hearing what you guys think. I'm interested in your opinions. And I want to thank this guy, Mr. Marky Dragon, for streaming the whole way and being a good example to point things out on. So yeah. And keep in mind that this has been the first video I have made in years. And I don't even think I've made a video on YouTube with the face cam before, so bear with me. Thank you for bearing with me. But um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. It's a difference from streaming, but it's interesting. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.